Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros, it's Drew here and we're back at the underground for another West Coast Racers construction update. So tons of work going on in the underground, including lots of structure work going into the building itself, which now has the beginnings of a roof on the station, which is gonna be amazing. And also you can see tons of just little details showing up throughout the underground itself. But the main thing is the fact that the roof framing has been put in for the station building, meaning that we're just getting closer and closer to a pull through of the cars that are now coming in and getting ready to go you can see a lot more asphalt has been poured and a lot more concrete has been cured in that area that will soon to house some cars at least from the concept art and you can see an up close view right here of the beautiful underground entrance sign and this entrance is going to be amazing coming from tatsu and roaring rapids but that is in large part to the amazing graffiti artists for West Coast Customs. And you can see an amazing view of the Top Gun stall right here. But moving on from that, you can see more and more views of the station as well as the rest of the underground, which is getting closer and closer to being ready for the random guest to be able to go through and experience this land. You can see the planters from up close right here, but everything is looking amazing. These double inversions right here are looking ever better. And I don't know if you've noticed or not, but you can see that they've cleaned off all of the dust recently with, I'm sure, a hose or multiple, and it looks very vibrant. But here's another thing that I just noticed, and that is the fact that there is some extra seating next to Apocalypse's entrance now, which is awesome. That was not there last time I had visited. But besides that, everything is rolling along at the park for the underground as well as west coast racers with a different view of the preview center here and you can see they are actually restocking the preview center with what looks to be a lot of park themed merchandise not exactly west coast customs or west coast racers but more in the vein of just park merchandise in general but you can see another giant trailer on the plot of land right here i'm not entirely sure what that is housing but apocalypse is amazing still running just as well as it has been before the retracking and also you can see a little cameo from our good friend taylor bybee from coaster studios that was with us at the park on saturday when this was taking place in the middle of an insane three-day operation of us going to three different haunt events in 72 hours those videos will be coming soon just to let you know but west coast racers is looking incredible still so is the underground i just cannot wait to see more and more progress to show up and eventually a pool through in the very near future, hopefully. And then, of course, testing after that. But the entire area looks incredible, especially up close. And when you're within the borders of the underground, it really makes you feel like you get that L.A. vibe. And that's what it's supposed to do. But also, here's just a cool angle of West Coast Racers from walking backwards through Apocalypse's queue. But I just want to say a huge thanks. And just before we go, Slingshot is open again. But if you want more updates, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And we will have tons of vlogs and reviews and other types of videos coming out soon. But until next time, we'll see you on the next ride.